Welcome back, folks, and thank you for stopping by Light Source Engraving. My name is Patrick, your host as usual, and I have a fun video for you today. We are going to get high, and we are also going to engrave some machetes. So what do I mean by we're going to get high? Well, there will not be any illegal substances involved. However, we will be high in the air, as you can see here. And we slowly move down. How far are we going? From the laser bed to the lens is approximately 620 millimeters. So I'm working with the 400 millimeter lens. And with the 400 millimeter lens, I can fit this across the bed and engrave it all in one piece. So 400 millimeter lens is approximately 623 millimeter focal distance. You need a really long focal stick, like this long. Like it barely fits in the frame focal stick long. So this is the length of the focal stick, approximately 620 millimeters. This is the length of our knife or machete. If I pull out my handy dandy ruler here, we'll see that it is 400 to the tip is 445, 445 millimeters. So you ask, how do I fit a 445 millimeter blade underneath a 400 millimeter lens? Well, when you correction, you gain approximately 20% in your field size so with the 400 lens 20 percent increase puts me at 480 so i'm getting about 480 millimeters across so i'm able to fit the 445 millimeter blade without issue so this tutorial is going to have two different parts basically we're going to have adobe illustrator then we will have light burn. Then I'll do the engrave and wrap up the video. So I hope you stick around to the end to see how it turns out. Now let's just go right into Illustrator and I'll explain to you how I do my templates and then you can use that to make your own templates for now on. Okay, we're here in Adobe Illustrator. And what I did is I took a picture of this machete had it centered within the camera, held my camera as level as possible up above it, and then took a picture. Then I cropped the picture down and I have the tape measure beside it so that I know the approximate length this cropped down piece of the image should be. And that'll give me approximate length for the machete template. So it should turn out correct. So then what we can do is go up here and resize it so the width is 600 this is approximately 600 so that makes it to the approximate scale that we need now what i want to do is keep from moving this around and kind of have it locked in place so what i'm going to do is go to layers and go to layer options over here on the side and make this a template so now we can't do anything on this layer. Then we can just create a new layer, call it layer two, and make sure we're working on layer two. And now we don't have to worry about marking up our template. Now, I go over to your fill and turn it off. For stroke, you can make it whatever color you want. I'm just gonna make it white. White shows up pretty well, it's easy to see. Then we're gonna go to the curve tool. So then from the curve tool, I'm just going to go and trace around this. I'm not tracing the teeth. I'm going to put a backer behind the blade so that any spillover gets caught by the aluminum and doesn't go on the laser bed. And then I don't have to worry about the teeth. So basically you just want to find your pixels, zoom in and start creating your template and just trace along. Now, I'm not worried about any of that, so I just want to find the joining point here. And then 
we want to zoom in and make our next point approximately there and then you'll see with the curve tool you'll get a curve when you might want it to stop so you can make a an abrupt angle turn double click that point and then it will convert to a locked fixed angle then we can just start drawing our curve along this path of the knife blade and then see we're back to making our curves then I just kind of balance out those pixels and get it to follow as best that we can just trying to keep the same distance from the bottom now we have a long run here and you see what happens with that point it's creating a curve so with a long run like that we should be able to make it all the way over then have a decent looking trace so let's pop that point down then we'll just slide over and take a look and see how we're looking there that doesn't look too bad to me but you can actually grab these and move them a little bit so i'm going to move this down and that looks better and then this needs to be a fixed angle because we're just going to drop down here and do a 90. drop right here another 90 and then this kind of has an angle to it i'm just going to leave that as a fixed straight line then double click and then join these two double click to create the fixed angle and there we go there's our template that'll work so now we can grab our template and move it down and start working with uh, any graphics all right folks we're back here with our template and what i'm going to do first is make a copy of it that way we'll have this to use for framing whenever we're in lightburn so we'll have a nice outline for framing and then i want to make sure my uh, fill is active select what we want to fill and what I've done is I have this little pattern and I just drug it into my swatch panel so in my swatch window it is now loaded in right here as a swatch so if you have a pattern you like drag it into your swatch window and then just click it and it'll fill in our outline with the pattern then you can move this around and have it lined up any way you like. If you want to rotate it, you can also do that. Just rotate the knife template. So let's say we like that. And that's what we're going to go with. The first thing we want to do is go to Object, Expand, let that run. It's complex, so it might take it a second. And then we're going to do it a second time. Object, Expand. And we should start to see all these little vectors show up. And I'm going to do it one more time. Object expand. Okay, that looks good. Now, come over here to our Pathfinder and we merge. Now we got all the little patterns. Sorry, I spoke too soon. And then I always like to hit the merge a second time. Just to make sure it's all one shape now because we're going to end up deleting these white areas out and I don't want it to delete these templates I'm going to double click on this group and that light colored bar up here shows us in the red underneath shows us we're in isolation mode so anything we do is only going to affect this group that we have here so I'm going to grab my magic wand I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select the black then I want to go to select inverse and then I'm going to hit the delete key and that deletes all the white out of our template okay once uh, we're out of our isolation mode and we have our shape we can actually at this point since we are fully expanded and have the negatives deleted we can hit copy 
and we can just jump right into light burn which is what I've already done and then hit paste and we are going to get our graphics to show up exactly how we want them they will be grouped though okay, if you copy and paste it won't recognize Adobe's groupings but we can ungroup it and then just select this one and group it back so now we have those two graphics another thing when you copy and paste your vectors probably are not going to come in at the exact size that they're supposed to be so you have to resize them so here you can see the difference in what we needed versus how they came in so you will likely have to resize those graphics just keep that in mind um, it normally works out just fine but if you run into issues you'll just have to save the file and import the AI file directly into Lightburn rather than copy and paste but that's it now we can get set up and get ready to engrave and make a cool machete okay we're over here at the laser getting this thing framed up and I bought it you can see I'm using my little framing keypad so I can escape and hit frame and use that to get my frame started I can actually start the laser with it I have a video that shows you exactly how to make one of them. All right, right there, I think we're framed up pretty good. So now let me take you back to Lightburn and show you exactly what settings I'm going to run. So I'm using a setting I call Fast Black. This is the first time I've used it with the 120 watt source and the 400 lens. But it's a, going to be a speed of 3222, two, two, power of 45, frequency of 200, Q pulse of 90. Line interval 0 0.017. And I'm running that first pass scan angle of 45, second pass will be at an angle of 101. That's what it'll increment from the 45. And I'm thinking I might run this actually three passes to make it nice and dark. It's going to be about 24 minutes to run that so I will just fast forward through speed that up make it really fast and then be right back with you when it's finished Okay, we're done. Our machete is off of the laser. We have our cube pattern and it looks really good. Nice and dark, viewable from multiple angles. So I am very happy with that. And I did get the other side finished. Mm -mm -mm. Looks good. I'm very happy with that side too. Here we go, side one. And side two. That turned out to be a really cool pattern on this. I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. So thanks again to everyone for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and help me buy more stuff like this to engrave. 
and show you how I do it. You can also join the channel as a channel member. And most importantly, have a great day. We'll see you later.